Hello everybody, my name is Walt Featherstone. I'm Vice Chairman of the Etsy Mech Industry Specification Group. I'm also Chair of the Deployment and Ecosystem Development Working Group within the ISG. Today, I'm very pleased to be able to present this episode of the Mech Tech Series, focusing on the ISG's utilization of the Open API specification for providing representations of the Mech APIs. In this episode, we will learn how the published Etsy Mech APIs are made available in open source, specifically that the Mech RESTful APIs are provided as open API specification compliant representations. We will also see that developers are able to use the API descriptions for their Mech apps and associated testing, where it should be noted that the representations themselves further enable interoperability and conformance since they are incorporated into the Mech test framework. The Etsy Forge landing page should be your first port of call for accessing the Mech Open API descriptions. The URL is provided at the top of the slide, but it is easily found through an internet search, noting that the site is open to the public, as are the Etsy Mech repositories. On the page, the Mech specific tab can be seen along with the currently available service API descriptions. One point of note is that the Open API specification is part of the Open API initiative and is completely independent from Etsy. It is well recognized in the wider industry as a means to describe APIs where such descriptions are both human and machine readable. This latter aspect enables content validation and also auto creation of communication stubs for both the client and server through associated tooling. This is highly powerful when commencing application development because if the communication stubs are created using the same description file, developers can be confident their application will be able to communicate with the service. These aspects have made open API adoption very attractive to the ISG, also helping ensure integrity and completeness of our specifications. The result is that the ISG provides open API specification compliant API description files for each of its service APIs, with each inherently including the API's information model. The resulting increased accessibility of the ISG's specifications has already led to feedback from outside the ISG that has been used to further enhance the ISG specifications and associated APIs. As an example, I'd now like to talk about a specific representation for one of the MEC service APIs. For this, I've chosen the Radio Network Information Service Repository, ETCGS MEC 12, ARNIS. This API provides access to a rich set of real-time contextual information relating to a 3GPP access network and the UE is connected to that, i.e. mobile phones and the information relating to their radio network connection. As the Mech Tech series develops, you can expect to see episodes that provide a deeper dive into each such service API. Looking in the repository, the various description files can be seen. These are provided in both YAML and JSON, where I'd consider the YAML more human readable and more compact. In fact, the JSON is actually generated from the YAML in the case of ARNIS, a proto file is also provided as an example of an alternative transport where JSON serialization over HTTP is the default. In addition to the description files themselves, links are provided which utilize these files to present the API information in a more interactive manner. First is a link to the Swagger UI and then secondly to the Swagger Editor. Before moving on to the Swagger UI, which is also hosted on Etsy Forge, I'd like to highlight that although the open API compliant descriptions aren't strictly speaking software, to avoid any ambiguity, the license and copyright details are provided with each repository. The BSD3 clause license has been selected by Etsy, which was felt to be suitably unrestrictive to not dissuade application developers while providing clear conditions of use. Clicking navigate the API in the browser link in the Arnis repository brings up the Swagger UI which will be populated with the ARNIS Open API description. Through this, we get a much clearer picture of the API's resource endpoints and methods that can be applied to those. This provides a great way to start exploring the capabilities of the API. The get PLMN information is an example that can be used to query the public LAN mobile network information associated with an application instance, i.e. its mobile network identity information. Digging deeper, the get plmn info query can be clicked. This expands out the related information in the query. 
First, the parameters listed. This includes any query parameters, which in this case is just the application instance ID. In addition, the responses are provided. So in this instance, there is a 200 OK response. Using the OpenAPI description, the data model is provided, where we can see that the PLMN is made up of two strings, the mobile country code and the mobile network code. Furthermore, an example response is provided in JSON. The error responses are also provided. This is all without the application developer having to develop any code themselves. Going back to the repository, another option is to click Edit the API in line. This brings up the Swag Editor. Here I just wanted to draw attention to this Etsy hosted capability to generate both server and client communication stubs for each of the Mech APIs where the Generate Server or Client pull-down presents the wide range of language support available. I've highlighted that facilitating interoperability between the different MEC deployments has been a key motivator for providing the OpenABI description, which is in turn is aimed at helping enable operator adoption. To take this a step further, the ISG has developed and published a test framework, which has been used as the basis for developing API conformance specifications with associated test suites. These are also available on Etsy Forge and have been developed in both TTCN3 and the robot framework to cater for both the telecommunication and IT communities. A future text series presentation is already planned to examine these in more detail. So to wrap up and conclude this episode, here's what we've learned. How you can gain access to the open source representations of the published Etsy MEC APIs. The use of the OpenAPI specification and associated tooling that enables the MEC APIs to be explored and understood. How the descriptions are a key input into the MEC testing and compliance framework, which is also utilized at the Etsy plug tests. Interested to learn more? Take a look yourself at the available MEC APIs on Etsy Forge. Go a step further with the interactive MEC sandbox at try-mech.etsy.org. And of course, follow up with the next episode of the Mech Tech series. So finally, thank you for your attention and interest in the Mech Open API representations. I hope that you'll continue to enjoy the rest of the Mech Tech series.